Right, I did a little bit of cleanup over here, just transferring a bunch of vassalages into this guy's hands. Winning some hearts and minds as we go. And, uh, yeah, very good. There are some people who are fairly upset with not having a job. So, let's go give him a job and kill them thusly. Uh, now we don't want to call of the steps. Ah, we will receive a boost in population and manpower for 150 renown. Not bad. Cannot compose a book because we're too poor. All right. Okay. Could call in our vassals for this, but we're not gonna. We can take care of this ourselves. How's our income now? Oh, are you crazy? How many troops can we have now? A bunch more. So let us uh, supplement our horde and build this up. Heavy cavalry. Let's let's build this up. To all well, that would be six hundred, seven hundred fifty, and that's all I'm willing to spend right now since we could afford more upkeep, but not really keeping them around as it is. There we go. Can we get ships now? 24 ships, that's not enough to carry us home. 76 ships, that's enough to carry us home. Or closer to home. Thank you. I mean, it really is just closer. But now think of the possibilities that open up doing this. How much is our maximum population now? Not all that much greater because we didn't get a lot of grazing grounds. Yes, yes, I understand. Your ships are out for too long. There, you can have them back. All good? Great. <laughs> this is absolutely and utterly crazy. Absolutely and utterly crazy. How are you looking? Strength-wise. What can we do with you? I don't know what is this. I don't understand this. Lots and lots of claims. But I think we would like to have them as a tributary. Byzantine Empire. Would be pretty good. And with all our vassal troops around. Ah, oh, we should do the dual thing. There we go. I walk away victorious once more. Perfect. So let's send our troops over here. Because we're going to make the Byzantines our tributaries. We're just going to take out all the big guys. And don't think we've forgotten about you, Kazaria. Because you are now a very, 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 very possible goal. After the duel, Khan Cutten of Sarek asked me for advice on fighting. A little taken aback, I happily offered to train with him. On occasion, today he thanks me for being a good teacher and friend, he adds. 
drink dunking me on the back dunking me on the back before he cocks his head in the direction of the sparring grounds budding friendship well we should go ahead and ransom a bunch of people I feel we might earn a little bit of money on this ah, not too much not too little People are being released and our coffers are being filled. No. Cannot come and preach here. have a non-aggression pact out there who would refuse us now apparently he will Bulgaria huh I'm coming for you I'm coming for you my friend how many troops you got huh 3,000 I'm coming for you alone I am coming for you alone maybe as soon as we come for you alone how many troops you got 10,000 how many troops can we raise here a cool 6,000 combined with ours is going to be very much enough. And we can add another 2,000 here and another 1,000. Yeah, let's do that. There's no reason not to do it. Oh. Duchy, duchy, duchy. I think these are all these weird things around here. Who cares? Certainly not a ha has. And these guys will just be for Dutchy related troubles. And we'll walk straight for the capital. Oh! One of our commanders has improved. Let's go straight for it as it is. And have our reinforcements join us there. No reason to wait around. Let us call in our clans. I'm sure they are happy for the opportunity. Also, we should check what we can build at home now. No more meat preservers. Morale of armies. Irug. Irug is the alcohol for the steps. You needed to be able to drink Irug to be anyone. Okay, we might need to divert these troops so they don't run into this large pack of rebels sitting around there. How are we already at 18%? Right, let's tell them to hunt the enemy. Okay, so one of the rebel armies is jumping ours, and they bring a lot of infantry, as it were. And now you see why inspiring leader is better than uh, aggressive leader, because we get both morale uh, bonuses for both defense and offense, so that's much better. So he'll jump us and be obliterated. Our ongoing struggle outside of Constantinople has brought out the best of our military strategists. No, sorry, 30 points. Nonsense. We need any resources available to us here at the front. That is the truth of things. So we are losing barely anything. 
We have lost 115 against 3,500 that they lost. So this is the perfect army. The perfect army. Muslim technology in infantry warfare combined with the irresistible might of the nomadic steppe tribes. I guess a great work is paused. It's fine. Let's combine these. Keep on sieging. And actually, do we need these? Not really. They could go siege something like this thing. Let's have them siege that thing. Or defeat those allies there. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Keep in mind, what are we fighting for? Accept submission, focus on rulership. Yeah, okay. Can do that. How much should we get? I don't know. But let's, let's switch our focus to rulership. We definitely don't need seduction. That is a stronghold. Constantinople. That is a strong, strong place. And look at all that's waiting here. The Hagia Sophia. Fully upgraded, doesn't do anything. Bandits. Middle Kingdom seems stable. All right. So who we got here? Definitely some rulers here who would like a seat. It's fine if some of them hate me. We just need to make sure we stay on top of things. How are our clans doing? Arslan hates us a little bit. They need more grazing land. Okay. We'll try to get you some. But first we need to finish these sieges here. Do we have any leaders open for this? Yeah, him. He can lead this army. Oh, we can go up again. What do we get? Inspire warriors. To refill a garrison immediately. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's go up. Never hurts. Oh, there's the army of Byzants. We'll be done here soon, I hope. Our spy is looking fly with his eagle companion. That is a long siege. I don't even understand how we're already at 21%. Because we have some occupations going for us. I don't fully understand, but okay. Right, so we can't move away to attack them. Ah, we have other plans for these now. And we could have moved to attack them. I just didn't want to open up to 
towards someone who just landed there so they can start taking stuff. Oh no! You have arrested my spy master. What a terrible shame. The inability of our previous employer to provide our contractual pay has caused us to look for employment elsewhere. We would serve your imperial majesty. If you would have us, how opportune. Did they immediately join us? Do I get a say in this? Well, first, let's check. This guy is not happy. He's leading a revolt. Is there someone else who's not happy? Who's not a revolt leader? Ah. Okay, do we have a friendly face that we can put on here? Who's not a clan? Not a clan. Probably just this guy down here. Well, let's do it then. Oh, we have titles to give out. Ishad, Sultan of Yemen. Kundur. To... Does it matter? Not. Really, no. Right, 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 right. Yes, Vassal Levy's a raise too long, I'm aware. We'll just take everything here. Take some over there. Where were we defeated? And why do we have troops here? Who are these? Where do they come from? What are you guys? Did I not have some horses up here? Oh yeah. Probably try and join these with my army. But it seems a little bit perilous getting out here. I don't know what this army is. No idea. But we're doing so so well. Look at all that money rolling in. Look at everything we can upgrade, which we're totally going to upgrade. Let's get some... <laughs> this is crazy. This is so insanely crazy. Okay, th these are our occupations. So once these are done, we send them here to protect our already occupied lands. And now that we've taken this, we can attack them. Fight their army, fair and square. We're going to cross a trait, a strait, which gives them all the advantages. But alas, they were defeated. Quite heavily so. So they can keep doing this. We return to sieging here. I don't think there's more troops around. I do weird stuff. What's going on in Europe anyway? Oh, Bavaria is going strong. Austrasia, Aquitaine. Interesting. So these guys will just keep sieging, that's fine by me. People are trying to kill our sons. No surprises there. Okay. Arslan, all clans. I don't care for clans on this. Let's get a loyalist. Who's halfway good. Not really halfway good. Let's have him be that. What did I just click away? Damn it. Something just jumped straight into... Can I pillage this? Oh, let's do it. 
For some reason, I, I inherited that. I don't really know why. So this dude must be furious. Oh no, it's not the same guy we defeated out of the Empire, it seems. The war isn't quite good. Well, let him send some money. We don't need, need people. Let, let Kazaria send us some money. Wow. 2.2. Don't overextend yourself there. Let's burn the apostates left and right. There we go. They are now our tributaries. What rebellion should we help you with first? This one. As our troops are still there. But this is who we're fighting. And that is where we're going. We should probably stand down our vassal troops. Don't really need them anymore. Ah, that is the mercenaries. That is what those are. We don't need those either. Should be able to defeat the... Indir. Sultan of Iraq. Right, let's restore our friend. To his former glory. By taking out these rebels. And we should get ourselves some more troops going. And I want a thousand of these. And a bunch of these. We need to be careful with manpower still. Fabricate on... I don't care. Not my stuff. Right, start bringing those troops in. I believe it would be a prudent move. Would you look at that? We have found some rebels who are mainly light infantry, so they are going to scatter like chaff before the wind. Alright, but you're still in another one, aren't you? I would like to offer my sincerest help. And he's happy to take me up on the offer. Oh, would you like that? What we're walking around here. We don't shy away from battle. We embrace it. We are destroyers of worlds. But we will not destroy. What is still needed. See. Take this stuff out. I'll take this stuff out. Oh, I'll take this stuff out. I'll take all the things out. Reducing the, men the enemy. We need to take a little bit care. What do you want? 
Rumors that great spoils await in the barony of Zeta. Where is that? No. I don't want to go there. I think that's friendly territory by now. Where is our army? Which route are you taking? Okay, a safe route. Goodie. They have a lot of troops. Those rebels. But we'll take care of it. First, we break the sieges. Or rather, we go siege. And these are wars we can do without increasing our threat, which is always nice. Kingdom of Syria, we don't need that anymore. Nor do we need this. Troops are coming through a safe route. And next up is Bulgaria. We can claim Victor Crumb for us. Taking capitals is so strong. Oh no, we have a rash. I don't want to have a rash. Do something. Oh, he did something, alright. Good. Sure. I don't, I don't care. I'm losing... Uh... A certain overview anyway. I'm not entirely sure where we stand with what. Outside having raised a bunch more troops for our horde. What do we have? Great pox. We should be sturdy enough to survive that. And we're not going to go the brave route. He'll just take care of us. There we go. Successful treatment. For five years, we should survive this easy. With all the things we got going for us on the health department. My liege. Oh. My spy master is severely wounded. No, what a shame. What a terrible, terrible shame. Okay, so he has... We've taken all his capital buildings. So we'll just go for the next... Pieces of his... Lands. Do need to go and take this army out eventually. Your child tells me what to do. I tell children what to do. Okay, I think it's long enough. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on. There's, so these uh, <laughs> these videos turn out much longer than I expect them to. There, there's a lot of stuff going on which we don't even pay attention to. There's hundreds of rebellions happening. Well, not hundreds, but several. Um... And right now we have a huge extensive empire going on for us. And I think the next step is to subjugate or rather turn Kazaria into a tributary. And then we're pretty much unbeatable. I think. There's not a lot left then. We might go invade them. Bulgaria. Can't we invade the whole thing? Nah. Just pieces of it. But we will. We're definitely going to invade there. At some point. See, this is what I'm saying. On the horse lord front. If. You play it right and you survive the early game. You become. Pretty much unstoppable. 
and crazy strong. So we are at the point, and it's not even due to our own horde being a blob of death. It's mainly because we managed to do this weird thing, which still is completely and utterly insane that we managed this. And it's barely, barely 850. And already we're in a position of great immense power, which is very unlikely to go away again anytime soon. Oh god. This is really crazy. <laughs>